Ukraine is banking big on a new defense strategy, intercepted drones, low-cost unmanned aircraft that are now proving to be game-changers in countries' battle for airspace. On training grounds, intercepted drones are taking off to secure the skies. They are fast, agile and are built specifically to track and take down surveillance drones in flight. Footage released by Ukraine's military shows one drone zeroing in on its target, a Russian UAV. Moments later, the feed cuts out, a sign of a successful strike, officials say. They say that the drone has dramatically reduced threat from Russian UAVs. When we started actively using interceptors against enemy reconnaissance drones, the threat posed by them decreased naturally. The innovation came out of necessity. As per reports, Ukraine turned to these drones due to shortage in traditional air defense systems. Our job is to defend the skies. And because there was a deficit of certain means, we decided to try out this interceptor drones. Still, we work in the same field, air defense. If there was no deficit, there would be no interceptor drones. I would not even go into that area. But now Ukraine has embraced them, not just as a backup, but as a serious alternative. These drones are reportedly five times cheaper than air defense missiles, and they have forced Russian UAVs to fly higher, reducing their effectiveness. Before our regiment started using interceptor drones, the enemy used to fly his reconnaissance drones quite deep into Ukrainian-held territory. But because interceptor drones became a real thing, they fly very carefully now. When they dare to fly in deep, the air defense works successfully. Interceptor drones are flown like FPVs by a pilot on the ground guided via an onboard camera feed. While Ukraine doesn't reveal their exact capabilities, estimates suggest the drones can reach speed over 300 km per hour. But it's not just military, civilian foundations are playing a role too. The Come Back Alive Foundation, Ukraine's largest military charity, says it has supplied interceptors to over 90 military units. Interceptor drones have become the instrument that suits the best. They're cheap. They're more effective than conventional means when used against aerial targets such as reconnaissance and strike drones. Since launching the project last year, the foundation says over 3,000 drones have been brought down, nearly half of them just in the last two months. Even Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky has praised the technology. They have a plan for 700, 1,000 drones per day. Now, if our partners have heard everything that we've discussed, we are going to shoot down everything. We have a solution, interceptor drones. They're able to shoot down most of the targets, almost all of them. We can produce them in mass. We can speed this process up. It's important that we have found a solution. Zelensky reveals Ukraine needs $6 billion to scale up the production. He visited a drone manufacturer.